Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler, and this is the weekly Sagittarius reading. Welcome, beautiful people. Okay, please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you'll find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing. That frustrating divine timing at some points, but trust which resonates with your heart and know that you are finding this guidance for a reason. Okay, so what do you need to know this week? Let's have a look and see. Do, do, do. Okay, so the first card out is the Queen of Hearts. No Guide of Hearts even. I'm looking at the picture, not reading the bottom. Guide of Hearts. In Sagittarius, it really feels very much like, um, I want to say to you, you're not doing this on your own. It feels like you're going through this energy of struggle because it feels like you've done it on your own for too long and it's lonely it's hard it's difficult but know that you wholeheartedly have the angels and your loved ones in spirit right next to you okay you're not doing anything on your own you have their full support allow them to support you okay we then have the little red cap card okay which is really it if you look it's this energy of you here where you're looking forwards to where you're wanting to be where there is opportunities but there's this little sneaky energy here holding you back and i feel like you're possibly frustrated because it feels like you do all the inner work you're meant to you keep doing what you feel you should be doing but still you're finding this energy where you're struggling to move forwards, where you are struggling to break free from that sneaky energy in the past. And I'd go as far to say as that sneaky energy in the past was quite a controlling, strong energy of somebody who tried to put you down, manipulate or control you in some way made you feel less than you are and it feels very much like that energy is holding you back pulling you back into the past like with an elastic band and when you keep feeling like you're moving forward it's like no come back here because there's still little bits you need to clear and you've done so well to get to this point it's not like you haven't progressed look at how far you've come and be proud of that but it does feel like there's some deep rooted stuff still to pull out of there and free yourself from. And I was going as far to say is it's not the actual person that you're freeing yourself from. It's the mental cloudiness and squished energy that they have left you with. It's actually rediscovering yourself and your value, which they have pulled out of you. So it's a repercussion of their actions, which has left you with that. And it is time to believe in yourself and wholeheartedly know that you are worthy and you have so much more value than, than they allowed you to believe. Because as soon as you start valuing yourself more you will start living more in the present which will bring a massive transformation for you and many open doors okay and it does feel very much like there's this long lost waiting for a love feeling where you are looking through the garden gate waiting and wondering when it will happen when it will actually come to you and the truth of the matter is the love needs to come from you first 
you need to value yourself first, wholeheartedly love yourself, which will be a massive internal transformation, which will then cause a massive physical reality transformation. Because remember, what's in within you creates your reality. And I do believe then the waiting will stop. Although you still know it's coming, you will stop longing and waiting for it. You will just know it's happening because you value yourself, you love yourself and you believe it will happen. So there's that very subtle shift within you which can make a massive difference, okay? Because then you will live for the now, making the most of each and every single day for you, knowing that that what you've been waiting for is coming, okay? But you're not sat waiting and your life passing by. And then when you're in that energy of, oh, it's happening, I'll just live until it happens and I'll make the most of each and every day. That is exactly when that last piece of the jigsaw or that clock in that picture falls into place. And that person you have been waiting for, whatever you've been waiting for, comes into your life, comes back to you. That love you've been waiting for is there, but it's your internal feelings and shifts which are going to create your physical reality and having that person with you okay value yourself it's time to value you and that will shift things massively we then have the guardian of crystals which is really i want to say this feels very important for some of you I want to say the world is a very small place and even if there is a massive physical difference between you and the person you're waiting for, do not view that as a challenge. View that as anything is possible. Okay. The distance is not going to come between you. The world is a very small place and you have the support of your angels and loved ones in spirit. And they are going to make sure everything falls into place just as it should. Okay. And I also want to say, you've got the Snow White card. And it feels very important to pay close attention to your sleeping dreams. Because I do believe there is... There is inspirations and guidance and messages coming through in your dreams. And I do feel there's this energy of... Is that for me? Is that real? Yes, it is. Pay attention to those dreams. They are bringing you answers and inspirations and help moving you through this stuck energy to where you physically go through that physical transformation and things start to fall into place for you. Okay. Thank you so very much for joining me. I'm going to head over to the extended reading now. If this is where you leave me, then thank you. I'm truly grateful for your support. Please do like and comment on the video. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste. Bye.